He'd wanted to go to Williams, I think, but Prost got there first. That must have been... <laughs> How did you explain that to Senna, that your other client had got the seat at the Williams and he hadn't? But then there was the whole Willie drive for McLaren. And Can you just shed some light on that whole 92-93 winter? No, no. So what, what actually happened was that uh, Alain had gone to Williams for the 92 season or 93? I think beginning of 93 or was it 92? can't remember. He had a year out in 92. He had a year out, that's right. So basically, he he left Ferrari, Alain left Ferrari because he, uh, I suppose, misunderstanding over the use of the word camion for the description of the Ferrari car. I think he got lost in translation. So he took a year out. What did Alain actually mean by the use of that word? Truck. (laughs) Okay, so I don't think it was that lost in translation. I mean, well, we we knew what it was, but there was something between French and Italian. Anyway, in the end, he... He got paid for 1992 for sitting out the year. Uh, and Ayrton always thought that was very funny. He said, uh, he said, I'm very impressed that a driver can get paid the full whack for doing nothing for a year. But he then came back to drive for Williams. Ayrton wanted to go to Williams, but he was loyal to Honda. I mean, his, his basic instinct was to go to Williams earlier, but... He was loyal particularly to Mr. Kawamoto, who was the president of Honda. He was very close to him because Honda had basically brought themselves and Ayrton to McLaren in 98, 99, 1988, and they'd won three championships together. And I remember him telling me in 1990, even late 91, when he won the third championship, that he didn't feel instinctively that the Honda was what it was, and he was worried about the future. And in 91, I remember going, we went to Spa with two contracts for Ayrton, one for uh, McLaren and one for Williams. And Ayrton was new, I think, that he should have gone to Williams. And we, we had both the contracts ready to sign. And we thought on Sunday morning that he was going to sign with Williams. But, uh, but then he'd spoken to Kawamoto in, overnight in Japan. And he came in on the Sunday morning and he said, I'm going to stay another year. So he stayed at McLaren for 92, but he could have already gone for 92. And Nigel probably wouldn't have been there. And that's the year he won the championship. But then when Ayrton backed, when Ayrton Ed, Ed, Ed backed out, uh, Mansell stayed. I think that's right, if I've got my years right. Yeah, Mansell stayed for 92, correct, yeah. Yeah, so Kawamoto persuaded him to stay and that Honda would remain committed. What was your gut reaction about what he should have done for 92, McLaren or Williams? So it was a really difficult decision. Um, and in the end, it was down to him. You know, all we could do was present both alternatives. And in the end, he chose loyalty. And then, of course, Honda decided to pull out. And they told Ayrton, I think, three months before they told Ron. And I mean, he was devastated. 